Perhaps the biggest thing investors will be keyed in on is, of course, this House vote, House vote on the debt ceiling deal. The Rules Committee is still meeting this hour. Joining us now is Terry Haynes, Pangea Policy Advisory Founder. Terry, great to have you on. I mean, we've already had some lawmakers come out and say they're not going to support. How much of this is bluster? How likely is it that we do actually get a deal done this week? Thanks, Morgan. Uh I have it at 80-20 today, but I, I was, uh, you know, I, up until the beginning of uh, May, I was at 60-40, 40 percent uh, 40 that we were going to have a default, and 30 after both uh, McCarthy passed a bill and Biden agreed to talk about uh, limiting uh, the, the the rate of spending increase. So I'm at 80-20 today, and, uh, and that's just because there's a difficult combination of politics, votes, and the roughly one week left to accomplish this. But, uh, you know, I do think this gets done, but that, that's a little more than a trailing risk. Okay. So saying that this does get done, how do you see it in terms of winners and losers? I mean, we mentioned, uh, we mentioned the pipeline, the, the, the company behind the pipeline that looks like it's poised to get approval, and that stock surged 35% today. Um, is this shaking out the way we anticipated? Can Republicans, for example, say, hey, listen, you know, we got a deal done that works for us. Can Democrats do the same? I, I mean, how do you see it? Yeah, I think uh, I think both sides get some things to talk about here. Uh, traditionally, uh, in spending fights, uh, Democrats always uh, hang on Republicans, the idea that they're going to uh, have draconian cuts to this or that domestic spending program. And then when that turns out not to happen, Democrats uh, claim victory. So that's good. Similarly, Republicans can talk about starting to turn the battleship around and, uh, and limiting the degree of increase in spending. So that's good for them, generally speaking. For markets, though, I think this is rather muted right now. Uh, what people need to remember outside of uh, outside of things like the pipeline or energy where uh, both fossil and clean energy can p can point to wins uh, th these are budget top lines and what markets tend to react to are more the specifics on spending where the money's going to go uh, to whom and for what purpose that won't happen until the spending bills this fall so uh, so really markets, and say, well, you know, we've got we've got some uh, some certainty here on fiscal for the next uh, two fiscal years, and that's good, generally speaking. But with Congress also has to fill in the details on spending in the traditional spending fights in the fall. One and one net uh, negative out of this, frankly, is that those fights are going to be rejoined just in about four months uh, at the end of the fiscal year. So. You know, the fights about the specifics will continue, and I think markets will wait for, uh, for more specifics before they go up or down on a lot of this stuff.